Welcome or welcome back to Lights On Podcast. If you like what you hear, please tap into your generosity, rate us five star, and share. I'm your host, Mitra Manesh. I'm a mindfulness storyteller and educator. I teach at UCLA's Semmel Institute for Neuroscience and Human Behavior Mindful Awareness Research Center. I'm also the founder of Inner Map, an innovative new mindfulness app. And I've been the coach to many knowns and unknowns of the world for the past 35 years, helping them to love, live, and lead more mindfully, joyfully, and peacefully. If you'd like to explore my work further, go to App Store and download and try Inner Map app for free, or simply visit mitramanesh.com. It's been a few days that I've been thinking about the Groundhog Day movie, and then I heard my partner referring to it, and then one of my clients mentioned it. So I thought, okay, obviously there's something happening, and I want to explore the symbolic connection of the COVID-19 days with the Groundhog Day movie. So I went and researched it and found the description of the movie, which I would like to, I've, I've changed it a little bit, but I wanted to read it to you so that I can refresh your memory if you've seen it, or give you a context if you haven't. Here it goes. On February 1st, weatherman Phil goes with news producer Rita to Poxitani, Pennsylvania, to cover the Groundhog Day festivities, which he's done for many years. He makes no secret of his contempt for the assignment and the judgment he has about this small town and its people. The next day, February 2nd, Bill awakens at his bed and breakfast to Sonny and Cher's I Got Your Babe song on the clock radio, and he tapes a half-hearted report about the town's festivities. Rita wants to stay and cover other events, but Phil wants to return to Pittsburgh. A blizzard blankets the region in snow, stranding them in Poxitani. Phil shuns the small town celebrations and retires to bed early. He wakes to the same song and the same DJ banter on the radio and discovers the day's events repeating exactly as the day before. Phil relives the day and returns to bed, assuming it was a dream. But it is again February 2nd when he wakes. He is trapped in a time loop that no one else is aware of. Realizing there is no consequences for his actions, he spends the first several loops indulging in binge eating and drinking, one night stands, even robbery and reckless driving. After a few loops, he concludes none of the outwardly things that he thought he wanted to do are satisfying to him. And after spending several loops trying and failing to court Rita, he becomes depressed and desperate for a solution to end the loop. He tries numerous times to commit suicide, but he continuously wakes up to the same song on the radio. At last, Phil tries to explain his situation to Rita, for whom he has feelings, by accurately predicting the day's events. Rita understands and sympathizes, and they spend the entirety of one loop together, but Phil wakes up alone as usual. Finally, he decides to use his accurate knowledge of the day's events to better himself and the lives of others. He opens his heart, learns how to play the piano, sculpt the ice, and learns another language while connecting with and helping a homeless man. During one loop, Phil passionately and authentically reports the Groundhog Day festivities. He speaks lovingly to Rita. They spend the rest of the day together, and Phil impresses her with his apparent overnight transformation 
and charitable deeds. Rita successfully bids for Phil at a charity bachelor auction. Phil makes an ice sculpture of Rita's face and tells her that no matter what happens, even if he's doomed to continue awakening alone each morning forever, he wants her to know that he is finally happy because he loves her. They retire together to Phil's lodging. Phil wakes to a got you babe song again, but finds Rita is still in bed with him, and the radio banter is different. It is now February 3rd, and he has escaped the time loop. He tells Rita he loves her and wants to live with her in Paxitani, the very town that he had found unimportant and unappealing in the beginning of the movie. Now, having read the description of this ironically forever green movie that never gets old in its message, I asked myself, why is COVID-19 reminding me, and apparently others, of the Groundhog Day movie? Let's see. Phil was suffering and was on autopilot before the Groundhog Day experience but only became aware of it when a shocking experience brought his life to a literal halt. Sounds familiar? He realized he's looping, suffering, and his life is merely the repetition of a same day. And the only thing that got him out of the loop of suffering was when he opened his heart and allowed connection, love, and service to come in. Now I understand. Now I know why this movie was in my awareness. It makes sense. It is the same symbolic story. So I made a hot mint tea, sat in the living room, and started pondering for hours. I asked myself, where am I on autopilot, looping and suffering? How can I open my heart to more connection, love, and service? And the most important question was, when is our collective February 3rd coming? What questions are you asking yourself these days? Hope this episode answered the question or two for you or provoked and inspired questions in you. I'm so grateful you showed up and listened up. Until the next time, be well and stay curious.